Mm. That's nice. Holy. Shell, you all right, buddy? Oh, hell. Manny, Manny, come here a second, pal. Huh. I got some bad news, buddy. What is it? Well, there's no easy way to say this. Shell Turtlestein is dead. What? How? I was down here reading the paper, and I heard this commotion up in your room. So, so naturally, I go running up there. And this mangy raccoon had busted through your screen. He must have scampered up to where Shell was. By the time I walked in, he had him, a little bastard had him, but a neck shaking him, gravels flying everywhere. He didn't even flinch. He just stared at me with that smug look and then bolted. If only I'd have got here earlier. May I see the body? Baby, are you sure that's a good idea? It's something I have to do. That's him. Sorry, pal. It just doesn't make any sense. Yep, only the good die young. But in school, we learn raccoons are nocturnal. They sleep during the day. They sure do. And this one must have got up for a midnight snack. You know, we've all done that. I guess so. Yeah, it all adds up. I don't think I can be in here right now. Too many memories. He'll be OK. You lie. Huh? I'm Colombian. I know a fake crime scene when I see one. I was hanging up the new poster. And it fell on top of him. It was an accident. You have to tell him. No. I've been through this before. When Mitchell was nine, I was supposed to take care of his bird. It got out and flew into a fan. It was like a bloody pillow fight. Oh my God, how many pets have you killed? Just the two. I took the heat on the bird. It was a big mistake. To this day, Mitchell looks at me. I see him thinking, that's the guy who killed Flies and Manelli. And what if he finds out? Then what? You'll be the guy that killed his pet and lied to him. He's not going to find out because I covered my tracks. Fly Saminelli. How did I not know that kid was gay? <laughs> <laughs>